And let's go to 24 Hour News 8's Mark Thompson now live in studio control. Mark, uh, some new hope tonight for parents who are trying to adopt children from Haiti, even as the anxiety mounts there. Brian, the Department of Homeland Security tonight approving a plan that would speed up the process that would link up those Haitian orphans with U.S. families. We spoke with a couple tonight that is so close to adopting a child that they were actually scheduled to travel to Haiti next month. Of course, those plans put on hold actually canceled now because of the earthquake. We want another child, you know, we want to make our family bigger. From the very first picture, it was love at first sight. And now little Lardy is almost part of the family, but not yet. We know who she is, and we have pictures, we have videos of her, you know, and we want, to, we want her home. For the past year, Caroline Clark and her boyfriend, Stephen DiPolo of Grand Rapids, have been going through the process of adopting four-year-old Lardy from Haiti, a bond formed through care packages and videos. Clark using Chinese Children Adoption International, the same agency she used to adopt her eight-year-old daughter, Chi-Chi, from China back in 2002. The agency sending word that all the children in the Haitian orphanage survived the quake, but they're running out of food and water. The kids sleeping outside, the nannies with toothpaste under their nose because the stench is so bad. I mean, the conditions are horrible. So now, like hundreds of others, they wait as the U.S. and Haitian governments work out a plan to speed up the adoption process. We're almost there. So we're going to work in limbo and not knowing where they're going to place us in that process. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mark Andreas is VP of Marketing with Bethany Christian Services, the nation's largest adoption agency. Bethany in contact with both the U.S. and Haitian governments. Haiti's president agreeing today to allow children already in the system to be released to the United States. Word coming down just tonight from the Department of Homeland Security approving humanitarian parole for Haitian orphans already in the adoption process. So we've been telling families across the United States today to begin to get ready to travel and to gather their paperwork because it could be any day. We hope it really is any day. Andreas knows the process personally. He's the father of six and two of his three adopted children, Addie and Lovely, are from Haiti. And still no word yet on how soon those children will be able to make their way here to the United States. There are currently some 600 U.S. families waiting to adopt Haitian children. For those families who want more information on the whole process, you can visit our website for a link. That's woodtv.com. Back to you.